everybody, and welcome to Rise of the Podcast. I am Jeremy. I'm Kara. I'm Dave. And I'm rated at 1.2, just past light speed. And I am Brownie. <laughs> Nuclear good drop. Hello, you everybody. just snagged it. That's we good. are going to do some ranking. We're going to talk about the best ships in Star Wars? Yep. Is that correct? Yes. That That's what correct. I heard. All right, we need input. We need input from all of you yeah, guys. So for, for those of you who don't know, this is Chad's responsibility. We cannot be held liable Hi, for Mark. stuff not being included because you need to provide us with the ships. It can be a class of ship. It can be oh, a perfect. specific ship. It can't be a relationship. Oh, a my goodness. <laughs> oh, my gosh. How long did you wait to drop that? <laughs> all right, we As got... I was talking, I thought about it. We drop a slave <laughs> one. We got a nice slave uh, one, and we're gonna and we're gonna call it slave one too. We're not we're not whitewashing Star Wars history here. <laughs> Boom. Mm. Slaves have been throughout history, so just saying. Look at that! I'm High take. defender. Yes. That was uh, uh, Thrawn's. That thing. was Thrawn's. Mm-hmm. I'm. Cu- I love to see the N one. Somebody, Steve's got an N one uh, star uh, the boost starfighter. Nice. I like to see the orders of which Blanky these come in. in Wait, on our introduction. Darth Gallum, really? He said that the model at Disney was labeled Slave One. Really? I'm surprised they didn't change that. Cool. Yeah, it'll be changed by next year, I'm yeah, sure. Nuclear cat, well, you can't call anything <laughs> by its real name. Uh, you know. Okay, we got a Y-Wing. We got a Y-Wing. Yes. And a B-Wing. Oh, no, Ooh, he yeah. said Y-Wing. Steve. Oh, Steve. Carbo. Yep. And he said B-Wing. Yep. yep. Oh, yes! The I would Death say that that star. would count. Tactile says the Death Star. That That's a ship. It is. Whoa. Nuclear Cowboy says X-Wing. That's no moon. <laughs> now, Stone Monkey says... Yes, Stone Monkey. Do you like land speeder, Stone Monkey? <laughs> Nuclear Cowboy said X-Wing. Pretty, you know, I mean... Triclaw and one Hold on, Naboo. hold on. Let me check one thing really quick. Are you looking up Death Star for sure? No, no. Okay, it's the title of the show specifically is best spaceships in star wars so Um, i'm gonna gonna have to turn down i'm gonna have to turn down uh speeder so let me ask you this well i can't say it if it comes x wing pod racer that took way longer than it should have what was that artemis rose millennium falcon that's oh, what I'm saying. Yeah. I like to see oh, and then we have Darth Gallon coming in with both Executor and Chimera. You have a lot of time. Nice. In uh, yeah, and um, what the hell is an aluminum falcon? That's one of my favorite <laughs> jokes of all time. Uh, I just watched all of the uh, robot chickens. Yeah. Nuclear that's cowboy did say wrong. X-wing. There's two L's, There's two L's, two L's, two N's. X-wing. Well, Falcom. <laughs> Falcom punch. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy! <laughs> it doesn't help that Photoshop runs insanely slow. Okay, what else am I missing? X Wing. You have a lot to do. Yeah. You have X Wing, and then you have um, Razor Crest. Yep. You have Executor, and you have Chimera. Oh, and Steve is just coming in hot. He was waiting for this episode. <laughs> <laughs> Executor was Vader's ship, right? Yeah, or uh, Grand Moff Tarkin's, right? That Executrex is one, and Executor is the other one. I'm not even joking. One of them is Executor, yeah. and one of them is Executrex. So then somebody said Executrex is like a, a medication. That's not it. <laughs> Isn't it? Um, Chimera is a ship. Chimera. That's Thrawn's Star Destroyer specifically. Is there an A the between the, the E and the R? Has to be Darth Vader's ship. Oh my or goodness. Chimera. There's an A between the M and the E. I think. Uh, nope, I don't think so. And okay. then I think it was Steve. Say, yeah, it is Steve. It's at the top of the chat right now. V- uh, the Venonator. Venator class. Venator class. Oh, Lambda class shuttles? Heck yeah. Uh, so we're going to call see, Darth Vader's TIE. That Star Destroyer, Lambda. We're going to call Vader's, Vader's TIE, TIE Advanced, I think is the official. And you got your classic TIE fighter. Oh, Yes. Darth Gallum with my favorite ship. Darth Gallum where? Phantom. Ah, yes. And Ghost. Well, I like Ghost. Yep. I, I, the, 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 that's the same ship to me. Phantom and Ghost? We're splitting those up. We're not... We're, the, the, one docks into the other. <laughs> <laughs> 
That'd be like that'd be like saying, well, I guess we have the Lambda shuttle. Fine, we'll put them both on there. But what rank <laughs> one of them E rank? Then? <laughs> if they're both making it in, well, did you know there was Corvette. there was two Hammerhead phantoms because one of the phantoms got shot down. So then they had to get a different phantom, and I think it just ended up happening to Doc Con Calamari. <laughs> What, what That's happened? Hondo's version once he steals it. <laughs> uh, let's see. It's just cut off, Chris, but at the front of the calamari you have. <laughs> Hammerhead Cruiser. Oh, the, Hammerhead Corvette. The Hammerhead Corvette. Oh, my goodness. How are we hitting all of these? What all right, so, yeah, so you need to get Ghost and Phantom, and then you need to catch up with um, Hammerhead Corvette, and then you need uh, Snoke Supremacy Flagship. That was from Nuclear. That is, the supremacy is a gnarly ship. Is it supremacy is just, the name of the ship? Yes. That's just the massive, massive, massive wide one. That's the one that the Hondo effect goes through, right? Or not the yeah. Hondo. Yeah, Hondo. The Holdo. No. Holdo, Holdo. Holdo. Giving credit to Hondo. What's the, what's the one on the bottom there? Oh, I can't Darth Gallum. I don't know the Radiant. What is the Radiant? <clears throat> radiant 7. I don't know what that is either. And the Sun Crusher. Is that the um, Dooku's? And, I mean, okay, Cruiser? so also, if we have to look these up and they end up being non-canon, I'm just just making up rules here. They'll be disqualified. <laughs> Sun Crusher, I'm pretty sure, is non-canon. Nuclear Cowboys is a Jedi Starfighter. Oh, oh that's a classic. Mm -hmm. That's a classic. So we, we did, Gen we did 1 or 2. A, we did do a Space Fighter March Madness showdown in 2020 because there was no March Madness. Yeah. And nobody watched it, but we worked really hard on it. So if you guys <laughs> want to see our opinions on ships, you should go there. Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan <clears throat> ship from episode one. Why can't I think of that one? And the Tantive, thank you, Darth Gallum. I was waiting. The opening scene has a Star Destroyer and the Tantive, and it took this far down the list to get mentioned. That's insane. Oh, no. Cam said the Sun Crusher's Legends. Uh, oh, Kylo's command shuttle. I would say that is a legit answer because we have the Lego set of that ship. Yes. We built a brickable video on it. Is that Home the one. one that's like... It's got the stoop... No, Kylo's has got the ridiculously tall, tall, oh, tall, tall. Oh, okay. Yeah. And okay. it like, yeah. Darth Gallum says Home 1. Oh, you gotta have Home 1. Yep. Uh, there it is. Nebu Scar Star oh, Skiff. Oh, Vulture Droid. I'm liking, yep. I'm liking the recommendations. Vulture so, Droid. Ah, there's one somebody didn't mention. You and can't put a person in it. Oh, boy. Oh, so now droid controlled ships are illegal too? <laughs> the, the droid is the ship. So, oh, that's a good. It's a droid. That's that would a be, philosophical. That would, for, that would be for the last ranking. That's a droid. Disqualified. <laughs> Let me ask Artists, you this. No. All right, hold on. This is going to sound like a dumb oh, question. Oh, the Cemetery Sith Infiltrator, though. That's a good one. That is a good one. And A-Wing. Thank you for suggesting A-Wing. Naboo Starskiff? Is Anyone? that the one? Is that the Padme's mirror ship, essentially? Um, there there thing. is one ship, and I don't know if people aren't mentioning it because I don't know if it ever goes out into space. But it's a classic ship that hasn't been. It's one of my, personally, one of my favorite ships. And from Empire Strikes Back. They had a trouble adapting them to the cold. Aha! There is a link if anyone wants to watch the March Madness. <laughs> no way. Nice. Did you pull Starship. that up, David? Yep. That Starship was fast. Showdown. Nice. Uh, so, Pete, tomorrow yeah, is if, Chip's birthday. You can't birthday. ride inside of a droid, one of those droid things. I'm sorry. That's not a ship. And since tomorrow is Chip's birthday, we didn't exactly want to stream on his birthday, so. I wanted to stream on his birthday. <laughs> <laughs> I did What's this Luger Hulk command ship thing? Kyber Crystal Transport Ship. Wait, isn't the Kyber yes. Crystal Transport Ship, isn't that the one from Rogue One? Remember, they're on Jetta or whatever. Well, and, and then there's also the there's crystals. also one that I'm also sad is not on the list. Surprisingly, oh stop, Stone Monkey, stop dropping crumbs. Who's crumbs? You. The NCC seventeen oh one. Get out of here. The YT <laughs> so thirteen hundred. We're gonna consider that with. Should we? No, we'll consider it separately. I guess actually, that's fine. Then what? It's the Millennium Falcon's YT thirteen hundred. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, I'm going to say this, but it's going to disqualify it. That, that, let's just do that, because I was dropped. Oh, I love the Nebulon B frigate. Good job. 
Is there's that the a one that looks like a power drill. Well, it's the one that this is the one where Luke gets his hand fixed on, and it's the final scene of Empire. Yeah, Strikes so it looks like a power drill with like an engine on the other end of it. Oh, somebody did say earlier the Federation, uh, the Trade Federation battleship or something like that. It's way up there. I've been mean to mention it, and I keep forgetting. So there was one ship, and I, this is disqualifying it, which is just fun, unless somebody gets it in there. Dooku Solar Sailor. I love that one. We're going to have to end this list uh, pretty soon here. The um, Luger Hulk is the command ship that young Anakin destroys. Really? When so, he just, out of the blue, is able to fly a starfighter. When Kara and I were watching Clone Wars together, she hated it, and I love it is Anakin's like weird box car ship with the thing that goes out to the side and things that goes out to the bottom. Kara just said I it's mean, so okay. on Anakin like and she's like, "Why does he fly that ship?" And I was like, "I like that ship." Here's the thing. So in Destiny, I am literally flying around like the same version of that ship more or less. It's a van. I am flying this old chunky van through space. Does anybody so know the name? So it's grown on me. Of that ship? Steve, I feel what. Space would. minivan? What's that called? <laughs> well, that's what I want to know what it is. Oh, so nobody, somebody mentioned it? Okay, disqualified. Yeah, no, that's <laughs> what I'm saying. Nobody mes- mentioned it. Twilight. That's right. I think it was, yeah. Is it really Twilight. called Twilight? I'm pretty oh, sure. No Team Edward or Team Jacob here. <laughs> the Outrider, Outrider sounds more familiar. <laughs> that's a lot of ships. I was thinking I know. the same thing. <laughs> that is a lot of we ships. We might want to <laughs> cut it. It's the Twilight? Okay. Okay, and then anyways, nobody oh. also said the speeder <laughs> that took down an AT-AT. I'm just shocked at you guys. But also, that's not Also, spaceship. you just said speeder, so... Well, I know. Well, I know. Isn't as I know. So that wouldn't be. I, just, I, I don't think. I don't think that they can travel in in van. I don't think they, they can either. I think they have to be hovering above the ground. Who is Mayhem? Is Mayhem gonna just? He's gonna go over. Sorry. Outriders from Shadows of the Empire. That's is that. That's no, not canon. No, it's anymore, not it? canon. Unfortunately. All right. Uh, well, no, that's fifteen minutes. Okay, we're gonna wrap up suggestions. Suggestion time is officially over. I just want to see who. What's the last one? Somebody make one more suggestion. Not that it's going to make the list. I just want to see what somebody says. What's the ship that you're sad didn't make the list? Anybody? <laughs> Everyone just wants to name ships. They don't want to talk to us. Apparently not. <laughs> the Ravager. Oh, good one. Okay. okay. The Radis. Oh, yeah. The Radis. What's the Radis? What's the Ravager? Don't call me out. I'm just trying to sound like I remember what it was. It sounds familiar. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Anakin's Anakin. pod, ra- pod racer is not a ship. Space We're trying to say ship. it has to go out in space. Ship. It, if they can't go into space, it can't be on the list. We should do land ships next. We can do that. I thought someone said Ravager way up there. Did they? Oh. So many well, recommendations this, this came this in. Got. Yeah. If you guys, guys should have fought for it harder. Hot list. It's going to be hard to organize this. We should put them all over on the Yes, Steve then- Carble. Way to walk the line. And we're closed, but that was still pretty funny. <laughs> escape pod? Specifically uh, the escape pod that R2 and uh, C3PO so escape is that's in. That's not specific enough because there's like a bunch of different kinds of escape pods. <laughs> well, I would just say. How can, I, how can I rank like just escape pod as a class? I'd be like, yeah, that'd be an E tier ship. <laughs> well, it really would be. I mean, it's true. Yeah, no cannons. But no, I was going to say, um, Escape Pod reminds me of Toy Story, where he's like, that's not flying, it's falling. It was style. <laughs> yeah. That's like what you're doing in Escape Pod. <laughs> Some have thrusters on them. They do, yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. So I, every time someone talks about the Hammerhead Corvette, I get Little Red Corvette stuck in my head. <laughs> At least you don't get I little don't deuce I end up typing. I, <laughs> just leave slave one where it is. <laughs> Should we start with that one? I mean, just put it at the top, in my opinion. Slave one and Millennium Falcon just belong right next to each other. Dang, Kara's just. I'll, I'll, put, I'll put them like, in a. I'm here. just saying. I mean, does any is anybody going to disagree with me? I mean, they're two of the most iconic ships in all of Star Wars. I, I, I would say, like, so I think Millennium Falcon is leagues cooler than the than really? slave one. Really? Okay, here's what I don't like about Slave One. This isn't me ranking on the ship. I still think it's cool. I hate the way that like it lands like facing the wrong direction. (laughs) Star Wars does have a problem with like lack of aerodynamics, and I get that. It most of the time it's in outer space, right? Yeah, it's fantasy. But like you're literally taking like a pancake with a bulge in the middle of it, 
and like shooting it like the wrong way. Yeah, I don't know. There's just like something. To, I love it. I don't like know. Pete, we, Pete says slave one looks like a suction cup. <laughs> yeah, see. But the and then but the bomb that comes out of it. It's got sick yeah, that, payload. That's bomb. Weaponry, though. You, can, you can put that onto any ship. I anyway, mean, it's true, but I, I love it. I still think it's an A tier ship. Okay, okay. I just think that like Millennium Falcon would be like, yeah, well, it's not quite <laughs> IG 11 high, but it'd be like up here then. Um, I, I do like the normal, and I know this is weaponry. I do also like the stock laser sounds of Slave One. It just, yeah. they, they just, they nailed that. Mm-hmm. Even the engine sound like guttural and it just yeah. sounds really cool. But the Millennium Falcon's a classic. Oh yeah, X-Wing. And the yeah. Thai fighter to me is A as well, by the way. Hold on, Nuclear Cowboy, you're saying that my dislike of the shape of Slave <laughs> 1 is stupid? I think he's agreeing with you, I just actually. Don't, I, uh, uh, there's way good, the, the X-Wing is a cooler looking ship. No, I, right? I the, think the, he's agreeing so with you. There's so many ships that look cooler than Slave 1. Slave 1's an awesome ship. It's very iconic. I just don't think that it's that cool looking. No, he's like agreeing. Knocking it down. It's still an A tier. No, he's it's agreeing still with you. It's an A tier ship. It's just don't think it looks cool. Chris, I think he said, "Oh, that is stupid." The way it lands, he's agreeing. Like, yeah. oh, and the that bottom, is stupid. He says, though. "Agreed that, on the takeoff." It lands yeah. like, oh, okay. Sorry. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> I'm taking exception to what I was saying. I so apologize, but not to those people. We are going to have a problem here because I want to rank a Tie Fighter as an A because it is to me. We don't we don't have regular Tie Fighter on here. Somebody recommended a it. A lot of people oh. recommended it, but it just didn't I, make I, it. That's I, fine. I, I, I forgot to type it. So the uh, tie again, chat, you should have recommended it more. And so I, then, do we do the Tie Advanced? The at Tie least? Advanced is fine. Tie Interceptor, do the Tie Interceptor. I mean, the Defender's cool too, but the Tie Interceptor, give it an A. Interceptor was Return of the Jedi. It's got this four points. It's oh, a gorgeous okay. looking ship. Cool. Yeah, I it's. Mean, I, I don't think any of the TIE Fighters are like an A-tier ship, though. I like them. I put don't know. X- they're put iconic. An X-wing above it. It. Put an X-Wing next to Millennium like, Falcon. So like, we, we can come back and address it, but it's like, I think with the number of ships that we have and like with the things that we think are actually like really awesome versus like, it's just kind of Well, so cool. here's the problem. Like, A is for like the best possible ships. Okay. There, yeah. right? So let me go through the list very quickly, and I'm just going to say. Interceptor is not, I think, in, in the same realm of Millennium Falcon, right? Like, it's just not. It's pretty cool, but the Naboo Starfighter is A to me, and then X Wing is also A. Yeah, and I, I we're we're getting ahead of ourselves on that. Just because you like other ships doesn't mean that this ship deserves to Pete, be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pete, are you talking about the cloud cars? I don't think that those things ever go into atmosphere. Not that we've ever seen. Yeah, I um, like nuclear I, I, cowboy. I think at best, <laughs> any Tie Fighter, any maybe the classic Tie Fighter would be like A minus, like a ninety point zero one percent. <laughs> but like, I don't, I don't think that any Tie Fighter is as cool as any of the hero ships. All right, so let's do this. We know X Wing is going to be A though, so let's get X Wing. Let's, we just, that's a given. Yeah. I gotta find it. It's a, it, right there. Yep. So this X-Wing. will help. So is it so, cooler? I, I mean, put it on par with Slave One yeah. or cooler. You can bump it up just a, just a hair. It's a smidge. But let's do this. Let's pick one off the list that we know is going to be an E, so that way we can start getting some variety. I would say the Trade Federation battleship. <laughs> uh, I agree the with that. The croissant. Yep, that's the one. Also, it got taken out by a 10-year-old boy. Yep. Get good, scrubs. <laughs> you got destroyed by a kid. I literally would not normally tangent something to the very bottom, but like I literally can't put as low as I can put it. <laughs> nope, that's good. And then, uh, uh, let's see what else. Hmm. Duker Solar Sailor is cool, but it's like, I would put it in D or E for me. Really? Yeah. Is that his little... It's the one he runs away from at the end of episode two. Isn't that, isn't that Genosian Starfighter? With. No, no, it's his Solar Sailor. That's what we know it yeah, is. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, I mean, it's... D for Dooku. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Funny. It's definitely it definitely is a bit of Dooku. So I don't know what the Radiant Seven is. I don't either. Okay, is that the first one we need to look up? Yeah. So if I got bamboozled again, I'm gonna be angry. <laughs> I'm just letting people know. Nuclear Cowboy says frigate is D for him. The medical frigate is a D. Could we give it a C? <laughs> okay, what am I looking up here? Radiant Seven Star Wars ship. Whoever suggested oh, it. Oh. Is it Legends? 
Oh, that thing. No, those are all over the place. What? It's a counselor class space cruiser. I wouldn't say that that's even legend. That's a legit, like... No, it's legends. Well, is there a canon version of it? Is there all... No, okay, there is... Okay, there is a canon version of it. What's it in? That's a very... There's a million of those. There is, like, a million of those. It's the one can... No, this, this apparently is what brought Obi-Wan and Qui-Gon to Naboo. Oh, I think it's counselor class spaceship is what it's called. It's not very good looking. What do you mean it's not good looking? It's look a at it. stupid. It no, looks no. like a dog. No, it, it looks look like, like a, a bug. It not, looks like a praying mantis shit. face. Just saying. It looks no. like a praying mantis face. Hold on, everybody. First of all, this is, we Jimmy's have. He's way too apologetic for stuff. This is getting D tier, and we're moving on. Thank you. <laughs> It just, they have a good way of connecting the styles of Star Wars ships together. You can and appreciate the overall art style of Star Wars and still be critical of an individual no, piece. No, I actually like that ship. ship. It is not a stupid looking ship. I like it. It looks like a bug. Because the, the engines look, look like, like a, a star. No, it looks like a little Star Destroyer. <laughs> it looks like a It's like dong? it was laying the groundwork for <laughs> other yes. ships. No, uh, that's... Because there's so many other better Jeremy, ships, you're, I'm you're, fine you're with you. Would you would things. you put that that's, anywhere that's, near Tie Fighters? No, and the Millennium Falcon. No. Okay, yeah, so, so like, where does so it like, belong? So like for example, like the Hammerhead is Corvette okay. is probably like a good example of like a C tier ship, right? Yep, that's it's a good one. It's nowhere close to as cool as that is. You're not wrong. You know, like or even like the. Um, <laughs> okay, Jeremy. Here's the thing: you didn't even know what the Radiant Seven was. Yeah, but that doesn't mean I don't know what it is now. I see it. I know what it is. What's in a name? You're so yeah, funny. Yeah, you're exactly right. Jeremy would rate everything in A. <laughs> well, it is. It's good stuff. I like this show. Does it have cannons? It's a and then he answered his own ship. question. No, it doesn't. <laughs> it's a counselor class. It's on a diplomatic mission to Alderaan. No, that was It is a pacifist ship. <laughs> All right, what's the next one? You guys pick another one. Uh, so Cam said that the YT-1300 is C tier at best. The just generic, like... I mean, yeah. Like, this is the same model as the Millennium Falcon. <laughs> but it's the Millennium Falcon without the coolness. So it's like, it's the, like a, you know, a normal car versus a souped-up car. Yeah. You're going to put it at the top of C? Yeah, I, I think it's better than a Hammerhead Corvette. Do least. you? All right, the N1 is absolutely A class for me. The Naboo Starfighter is gorgeous. It welcomed, it ushered us in to the Phantom Menace. It was one of the saving graces about the Phantom Menace. Kick butt green lasers, the yellow it's than silver. The no. Or sorry, it's better than the Millennium Falcon, I mean. No. No, but I mean, to me, it's, it's better it's than the X-Wing. I think so. You think so? I don't. It's, I, think you, I think you're on crack, yep. sir. <laughs> there's no way it's better than an X-Wing. Can you just do yeah, me yeah, a no, favor? There's just, no, there's just no way. Can you just do me a favor and pull up a side by side? <laughs> Of uh, X Wing and a, <laughs> and a Naboo Starfighter. Let's just pull one up side by side. I'm sorry, an X Wing is what miles what cooler. Let's hold on. I just want to like now. Just hold on, Linda. Just pull up a picture of it. I, I don't know how you're gonna be able to do that, Chris. But I want X Wing. This is X Wing. Beautiful. Look at that no, thing. Hold on. Mm, just... So good. Do you see any Naboo Starfighters on this tree? If no, we because are they're not cool enough. Truly. Get, get do X Wing V Naboo one and see what happens. Or Naboo, You're so fun. Look at the X Wing; it's beautiful. Okay, here's the thing. If oh my goodness! Look at that Naboo Starfighter. You guys have no idea. That thing is sexy. That's a gorgeous Jeremy, looking ship. Jeremy wants to. It looks like a the Porsche to war. No, it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, first of all, the history of the X Wing. Did that start off as a fighter, or was that a repurposed ship at some point? Because the, the, the Naboo Starfighter well, is like... Canon history? or Yeah, actual canon history. No, because it, it was that the, they had those ARC ships or whatever. Oh, and yeah. And this is the next version of that, but then they decommissioned them because they took apart the clone army. At the oh, end that's the right. Yep. That's right. I but think... Like, this is basically like, I've got fat stacks of money to actually make my stuff look <laughs> interesting, and this is like, we built a utilitarian death machine. And we're going to destroy you. And this thing looks cool AF. I I think it's on par, if not slightly cooler. It is definitely mm. not cooler. Is there any okay. Naboo Starfighter right. love in Chris, chat? Chris, let's, let's just do a put poll. a poll. We'll do, we'll, I was going to we'll, say, we'll do a back. poll. 
And if Th- this is unprecedented, by the way, Chris, we normally don't Pete, allow Chris, people to vote back. On make the- it so they can cannot put bits towards this because I know Jeremy. Jeremy's gonna pop on. He's gonna be like, uh, no, you, I don't have an account here. You admitted last week that you do, so shut it. I'm proud of Pete. I'm in a boot. Yes, Ty Durden. Yes. All right. I'm curious to see how this goes. Just do it so it's one vote per, and that's it. Which is cooler. June voted against you. What, she voted X-Wing? Yep. Yeah, June, you know what's up, girl. What is June doing here? (laughs) (laughs) Um, I do want to do a shout out. So we can talk about the little uh, Christmas tree you printed for Ashley or we made for Ashley. So uh, Steve uh, has a bamboo, and... He printed um, right, the pole is up one of those. And he just sent me a picture today with his build plate full of them because now everybody that he's shown to wants everyone one. at work wants one too. It, it's like, okay. I'm like, I'm not going to have you print me. <laughs> well, Ash said she wants two dozen more herself, but <laughs> <laughs> this is getting out of hand. I'm expecting 27 votes in here. Nobody gets to skip out on this one. Nobody. There's no oh, starfighter. Yep, this is Mandalorian. No, Chris. Ma'am, I'm sorry, you're absolutely completely wrong. What do you say? X Wing is cool as all, but the new Blue Star Star is the new hotness. Thank you. The so new hotness might as well be Glizzy and Jim. <laughs> Speaking of People which, people who say new hotness aren't allowed to vote oh, this point. I Jeremy, love you, Mayhem. Jeremy, I really hate to break it to you, but if you look at the new Naboo Starfighter, it definitely has a frunk. It does not have a frunk. Speaking oh, of frunk. It's not electric. It's all frunk. There it is no frunk. space for a no. frunk in the back. It is all frunk. Okay, you're totally <laughs> wrong because where does the droid go? It goes in the back. He goes behind goes the, the pilot. Droid slot, not in the not in the He's frunk. taking up all the space of where the trunk would be, so the only you're place to put so stuff is in the funny. frunk. Yeah. This is de- this The is X-Wing all is frunk all frunk. All the time. The There's X-wing. no place for a trunk. It's frunk city. No. The X Wing is all the nose. And when you're voting for Frunks Matter. No! You cannot bring electric cars into this. We uh, locked Adam in the frunk of a lightning today. Did you seriously? I have a video if you want to see it later. I do want to see it later. Mayhem, you're my favorite. Okay, we only have 15 votes. We need 12 more. Come on. I better vote. Okay, so now we need 13 more because Jeremy's popping on. What do you mean I'm popping on? I'm popping off. It's a lot closer than I was expecting. I know, same. I'm like, what is? Are you serious? What? I have to update my app. Ignore, I didn't. Which is cooler? <laughs> vote. Yes, Queen. <laughs> All right. We need a little bit yeah, more. Yeah, turn love. the X-wing around and you have the Naboo star. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, let me see the pictures again. Is that really what it would be like? I mean, close. Kind of. <laughs> It kind of is. It kind of is. That's oh, really exactly funny. Is, yeah. Actually. The That's more like, you <laughs> stare at it, I feel like some uninspired person is just like, let's just make it backwards. And that's well, the end one. Yeah, it's like, we'll connect the wings so the S foils are if, not intact position. If the pods <laughs> split, like the front engines split into an X formation, you'd have a back wing, backwards X wing. You literally would. That's yeah. crazy. That's really funny. <laughs> <laughs> Just be shooting the missiles the wrong way. Damn, go, go, and one frunk. Oh, my goodness. All right, (laughs) let's move on while the poll is closing. But can we both at least appreciate they should both belong in A? Yeah, no, I'm not saying they don't belong in A. It's a great ship, but the X-Wing is cooler. I I agree with Chris. Like, the Naboo Starfighter are for the bougie bouges that, like, that call their hot dogs glizzies. No, come on. (laughs) They ain't using glizzy on Naboo. (laughs) They just sit and they sit in there driving around the Naboo Starfighter with the frunk eating their glizzies while they're driving. (laughs) Would Grogu eat a glizzy? (laughs) No. He would eat eat frogs. He eats anything, though, really. So, I mean, he'd probably eat. He eats those Oreo cookies, those macaroons. (laughs) The macarons? I don't know how I feel about macarons. Star Wars. I was going to say, can we please address this? Macaroons are the coconut cookies. Yep. Macarons, Macarons are the, are the French cookies. two cookies with the pa- the the cream yeah. cream inside. So for the rest of my life, though, whenever I say either one of those, I'm thinking about the French. If you say a cookie. macaroon when you're meeting a macaron, I will. You're a macamoron. <laughs> <laughs> I thought macaron was in Harry Potter along with Hermione and Harry. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Get out. I love that. 
So Mando is bougie. He absolutely is. He he's like, no, okay, no, no, okay, no, okay. Mando in Beskar armor. Mando is trying to be bougie because that new boost starfighter is like it it's a roller, baby. It's a roller. It doesn't <laughs> matter. Okay, we need to have a episode dedicated to all of the moments where Anakin is a drama queen. I cannot watch Star Wars with Kara anymore because she always says, oh, Vader is just so dramatic. Oh, he's just being a drama he queen. He is. And every single thing that he does, okay. he has to make the world's biggest, most he does. blown out he entrance. Does. This right here keeps him alive. This right here. You can't see it, but I'm pointing to his chest piece. It keeps him freaking alive. And you know what? He turns this sucker off when he gets aboard the Tanta V4, okay? He turns it off. He's dying. And then he's like, and I'm here. And he's like, Pff. and then he turns everything back on. But like, he's literally killing himself to make a grand entrance. The episode in Rebels where Just he like say. rides in on a flaming uh, TIE fighter. His TIE advance. Yeah. He's like, <laughs> it's like, dude, <laughs> he has his uh, boom X-Wing one. <laughs> but by how much? Um, not everybody voted. People. It had to Some be pretty close. And Ty Durden, I made it. I told Chris to make it so it couldn't be rigged. So it only won by 57% and the sound of it. No, I guarantee you C. Sam Fisher and C. Sam Fisher 7 voted, voted X-Wing is what I'm saying. Well, it doesn't matter. It'd hey, still be 12 what? to 10. Guess what? What? You're wrong. Boom. Well, June voted. What account did June matter. have a Twitch account or is she using C. Sam Fisher 7? No, she was j Ashley just said. She would uh, said that. Got it. She didn't get a no, vote. I yeah, voted so 13 two people voted for you. Three, 10 people voted. What? Everyone. You did? Yep. So you lost by more. Sorry. Oh, my. Okay. Goodness. So, Ty Durden, <laughs> I saw that you said your mind was blown. What's it blown about? Turning Probably one both around. an X-Wing and one. Oh, right gotcha. Or, or Vader shutting off his. Uh, uh, no, it was before design. we talked about that. Oh, okay. No, the margin of error is zero. I appreciate you. I appreciate you, projection. This isn't some estimate. This is the margin of error is zero. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. There, I margin. think there's some votes in the trunk. And then did the X one yeah, have a hanging just, chad do we where need it to counted? Call up the same people did, that found those votes in Georgia. And did somebody <laughs> vote in one, and then the, the, they accidentally popped the back out for uh, X wing, and it counted twice. <laughs> I was talking Funny. to a friend and missed the vote, but I would have done the Falcon. Oh, we were just the between Falcon the X-Wing and the Boo. We were, we were trying would. to narrow down whether or not the... the <laughs> if it was the X-Wing and the Naboo Starfighter, they were the cooler. X-Wing was cooler. X-Wing. One. And justice has been okay. prevailed, so now we can move on. Because of your guys' and my heavy ratings, I'll put Lambda in B. <clears throat> I like the Lambda Clash I think shuttle. the Lambda deserves to be in B, though. I do, too. I think the Lambda Clash shuttle is like, really it's cool. It's like the bottom of B. It's, like they, it's, it's iconic, and you see mm -hmm. it in its roots, and it's like... The there's a through line of the ship, like there's a through line kind of of the X wing once they build those arc fighters and everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's a through line with this to the modern era, even. Yeah, so. I love how the wings on it go like this is the, it like goes oh down my. to fly and then to land. It's like this is the Ford Econo van of <laughs> you know what's crazy Star Wars. Like no no <laughs> no over the road vehicle. It's a government fleet vehicle. And That's class all. It has is. ever moved more people than it's the Ford Econo line. <laughs> It's an it's an officer ship. I don't know. It's just isn't a, it? It's just a shuttle. Uh, I thought the lab, I mean, like yeah, if you I mean, like if you need defender, to move a bunch of disposable targets, then you, you'd use like something better. But like okay. I think it's uh, are, nuclear cowboy everybody... said he would have voted he would have voted X wing. So well, there would have been an, another vote for X wing. <sighs> yeah. uh, Tie defender is B, and Razor Crest is absolutely B to me. All right. You think that the um. And one that he has is better than the Razor Crest. Uh, okay, okay. For him specifically, the Razor Crest was a way better ship. He's a bounty hunter. He needs to be freezing people in color carbonite. He's <laughs> yeah. like he's like Batman. The Mandalorians make up their lack of not having the Force with their kits. It, <laughs> and so Cam he, has a point. Huh. The the Lambda class shuttle is the Delorean of Star Wars. Like the configuration. <laughs> That's great. That is pretty funny, actually. Um, anyways, no, I just think for him, the Razor Crest was a more right. functional ship. Now, admit it, though, like, we never put the N1. Oh. So, apparently, do you guys know why they never said wizard again? Why? Because that triggered everybody. Nobody likes wizard but me. I like wizard, but I think it's silly. I think it's fun. 
Oh, who did that? Cam gifted five subs to the community. You are Dang! Asshole. Thanks, Cam. Cam, thank you so much. David, David is here this week. Dang it. To shoot us. Friggin' dang it. Vader's dang it, gonna David. take a couple shots, I think. Hold on. Oh, he's gonna get knocked hard. over. He probably on. would. Hold on, you're gonna hit me in the face. Hold on. Uh, wow! He doesn't even get phased! He's invincible! Ah! Oh. 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 Those are spicy. It's like the battery when they're first. Ah, oh, we're getting blasted! Here's getting lit. Whoa! Oh, yeah, that was in the butt. Oh. 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 Man, I cannot believe how strong Vader is. He is seriously not even phased by those. I for sure thought he was going to tip over. He's Lord Vader. Look at how cool yeah, the fog oh, looks yeah, hitting yeah. the window. Can't oh, yeah, that. dude, look at that. From last we should time. always have a light shining back here. So when the smoke does hit it, it looks like it looks like a gal. Like an oh, did you turn like that nebula? on? Yeah. Yeah, it looks like a nebula. Oh, that's cool. It looks super cool back there. Do we owe more? No, we, we do, do, but we can get to them in a minute. Actually, let's so let's do since we're out here, let's do. Uh, well, I can't think of his, his nuclear name. Cowboy, cowboy and Darth Gallum. They both have a yeah. wheel spin. Yeah. Okay. This is a free one for nuclear. What? Oh. Dang, bro. All right, Sorry, nuclear go. cowboy. Here we go, Darth Gallum. And Cam redeems one. Are we gonna do that one now or later? That's some Philanux oh, no, luck right oh, there. Okay. Spin times <laughs> two! <laughs> so this is a re-spin for Darth Gallum then, right? Yep. Did you, anybody nobody appreciated my Philanux joke? I didn't hear what you said. I said that was some Philanux luck. Oh my the, gosh, oh, right? Poor Philanux, he's not here today. Are you serious? <laughs> I don't know how we're gonna deal with these Giga Chad balloons here, but we have one we got right three here. Of them. I, I, th I think I only have like ten of them. Yeah, and we already are almost through them, so that will be. They're here. We're gonna have to figure those out. Okay. Anyways, all right. All right well, so just, we just peel two more out and put them on the thing. Well, that's what I'm saying. This was the bag for them. Oh. Yeah, but I'm just saying, like, because you know, I have the one pulled out right now. Just yeah, put yeah. Two more on top. No, of that. there's no, no more. That's why I don't see any back. Oh, here. that. Oh, that. Oh, what's in your hand that you? Have so out? well, these are. I, don't I know, think these those are, are the inner ones. These are extra balloons for fun. It says. So what is oh. this? Oh, oh these are a joke. These are little dinky balloons. All right, well, why would you get one. extra? Let's, let's do a couple of those. <laughs> what? But what? What? Get you zoom in on this. Why do you get extra balloons? Who knows? I spent a lot of money on those humongous ones. <laughs> it just says bonus extra balloons. All right. We'll like those big balloons are like three bucks a piece. <laughs> I believe it. Kara, what are you doing? What is she doing? I don't know. <laughs> oh, is that the big balloon? That is yeah. a big balloon, but that's about as much air as Kara has. All right, are we going to do a balloon race quick? We do a race with that one. No, we got, we got to do uh, Cam's wheel, wheel spin. spin real quick. All right. All right, do something good. Come on. Something good. Something good. Are you oh! serious? Oh! Nice. In order to get yeah, this so taken Jeremy's, care of. Jeremy's reserve to give away, or do you want to do... We'll like, do a, a gift, gift card, card to get it knocked out, because people... The shipping is all jacked up because of Christmas. Yeah. So we'll get this one out the door, and then people could probably use the money. <laughs> so we'll do a $15 Amazon gift card. All right, so what are we doing? Uh, are we going to take a break and do the balloon oh, let's race? Do a, let's do a balloon race while we're giving people a chance. Hi, to Tink. There. Did you say 15 Amazon? Yes. Are we doing the red ones or are we doing white ones? Let's do these white ones. Let's do these extra bonus fun ones. Wait, hold on. You gave me one that's like... There we go. What's wrong wait. with your balloon? It's inside out. Look at this. The whole balloon? Oh, wait. There <laughs> we go. We got it. Oh, I don't like the... <laughs> Ew! Look at this. What do you mean, Ew. Ew, there's like poop on this balloon. <laughs> there's like brown nastiness oh, on it. Different one. <laughs> oh, Cam, go, give Here it we go. This sub. one looks okay. Well, this one's fresh. Well, this one is literally fresh. You literally pulled it out of the bag. <laughs> All right. Are you ready? All right. And oh, three. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Do you two. want to say this? I feel bad that smell? Mayhem was Horrible. like. 
He's like another <laughs> win for Kara. I gotta win one of these guys. So I thought she was gonna use the blue one. Here, here's my <laughs> suggestion, Jeremy. When you're blowing these up, there's the little ridge on the opening of the balloon. Bite down on that with your teeth, and then just open up your jaw a little bit when you're blowing, and then clamp down on it with your teeth when you're breathing in. All right, I'll try that. <sighs> All right, count us in. And three, go. <laughs> That's as far as I got. <laughs> Though these are tough balloons. So I, I can tell Jeremy isn't using the technique I suggested because every time he breathes, he pulls the whole thing away from him. He can breathe around the edge of the balloon. So much spit that came out of that balloon when it popped. <laughs> it was just a mist. That's lose, what happens with Jeremy's too. Popping your cheeks, you lose compressive power. You want to keep your cheeks. Holy! <laughs> I didn't <laughs> blow. I didn't even blow. <laughs> you probably bit down on it, and it uh, caught. No, it, wanna, but it didn't pop at the base. <laughs> when, when you're blowing, you want to keep your cheeks tight because you lose compressive power by letting your cheeks expand All right, out. Like let's that. take a break. Nobody do anything but me and Chris. All right, you walk me through this. Is All that right. the poop no, one? Let me, let me go. Like, no. So you see there's that little ridge right at the end, right? Yep. <clears throat> that, so just basically gently, yeah, so it's held like that. And then when you breathe, yeah, you basically open up your lips, and then you breathe in through your nose and your mouth around your teeth. So you blow. And then when you breathe, you're holding that down with your teeth still, but then you open up your lips and breathe in around your teeth and your, with your nose. <laughs> <laughs> So you're keeping your lips around it right now. You're holding it with your teeth. Oh, one of your, like this. And you can breathe around. Yeah, so you can breathe around your mouth. Yeah, so you can you can pinch it with your hand still too, but you're holding it tight with your, mm. so you're not letting air out with it. Yeah, so it's like that. So then you breathe or you blow. <laughs> and then when you go to breathe, yeah, so you pinch, then breathe. Yeah, breathe in like that. <laughs> I'm listening to the directions. <laughs> oh, you don't need to bite down on it when you're blowing. Don't bite when you're blowing. Bite when you're breathing. <laughs> then last thing, you're letting your cheeks puff out. Keep your cheeks tight. Like use the muscles of your mouth to keep your cheeks in. You're forcing all the air just through that hole. <laughs> Dude, that was a way better one. Way better. I'm cheating though. I'm taking my cheat, my fist to keep my cheek. I can't. So, so, like, so like when you learn how to play a wind instrument like the trumpet, the first thing that they tell you is like you don't let your cheeks puff out. You have to use the musculature of your jaw to keep that tight because you're just wasting air volume puffing your cheeks out. See, here's what's if, weird. If it's, if <clears> it's when I blow tight in like that, the airflow shoots through better. When I blow in, it feels like the cheeks have to, in but I need to work on that. Yeah, so instead of, so like, so that thing where you do the pinch and then you open your whole mouth, you can, that's when you bite down and you just grin through and breathe in. I gotta figure out how to not inflate my cheeks. That's my issue. We'll come back to that at a diff, but I will you practice. You way more power without puffing your cheeks. That's 100% a real thing. I, it makes sense. I'm losing times. I don't think you're blowing right. Mayhem, are you the expert on this? Blowing balloons for dummies. Here you go. He looks like a chipmunk trying to play a sax. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll get modded for that. <laughs> you're fine. All right, do we owe any more wheels? Oh, no, we got an enter for that. We got a polymaker giveaway. Well, should we just draw the people who are here? Let's just out? draw. Let's not, let's not keep people uh, just waiting draw. any longer. Let's feed it for the gift $15 card. $15 Amazon gift card goes to... Bonus! The bonus space! So now what happens? Hi, Phil. So now you spin the wheel, and it, we, we might have to add another giveaway on top of it, or a times Ooh. two even. Phil enough. So what Welcome happens if in. it lands on like Chat GPT? Then we do Chat GPT theater, and the giveaway is normal. But then that we add the person in who we let, who wins the giveaway to the Chat, Chat GPT. Thing. All 
Are you serious? Two fifteen dollar gift cards? Yep. So we're gonna draw twice. So the, so we can either draw for two people or give one person thirty bucks. Chat, what do you think? Two different people or I think we should do two different people. What if the same person wins twice? That would could be a thing. You could win twice. No. Then we do So Phil Linux is somehow gonna lose twice. <laughs> or Phil and Nugs. I don't know what the blank instruction class is. I've seen the movie Old School. It's just been a minute. Who donated? Who 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 gifted subs? I can't read that. Uh, Cam gifted another sub to Gwen. Oh, nice. Aww. How do you enter? Or is it too late? It's not too late. You, you do the you exclamation point. Okay, it looks like yeah, and people, then enter. Yeah, they want to. <laughs> yeah, they want two people are going to win fifteen. Philanox hit bang enter. And then say, I'm going to win there this. There you go. And then you have to say that. Follow it up with Philanux. Just say it. Say this. Just say, I'm going to win this. This giveaway is mine. Yep. Just say it. Just say it. Just saying. It's, oh, I thought Stream Protocol Droid entered. How much funny would that be? <laughs> that would be really funny. All then right. we could have kept the money to ourselves. Philanux, you have to say, so first, I'm going to win this. First winner. Oh, Darkest Nights just got Just in. in. I am good enough. I am smart. I am. <laughs> Builder's Mark. <laughs> Congratulations. That's awesome, though. <laughs> Enter. I think I'm going to win twice. And he got one. <laughs> That's pretty good. All right. Nice. Draw another one. I know Builder's Mark. I, I got to wait. Oh, you got to wait for the, the legs. He said. Yeah, he said. Comment up there. Philanux, you must say, I am going to win this. Nuclear Cowboy said it. <laughs> I have an idea. I have an idea. Okay. While we're waiting for the lights to clear, let's Karen and I do another balloon race. But let's let's just for the sake of this, chat or Chris or Maybe. chat. You guys tell me. Let's 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 do a handicap. How much air <laughs> should I get? It's usually like three like breaths. I say it was the difference. Wait, what are we doing? We're doing a race, but I, this is a uh, this is my so handicap the, the, to make this it is fair. The, like the average margin of victory. Uh, let's just see how close. It gets, That's what I'm right? saying. This would be very interesting. This would be very interesting. All right, Kara, do you we'll think this is three, good enough? Okay, we're going to just end it. All right. Two, one. Oh, we have to do this for science. Let that go deflate. <laughs> well, so Let it Kara deflate. wins that one. Let it get deflate. the lack of control. No, Kara, you uh, won. That's fine. Just go ahead and let the air out. You won that. Like my hopes and dreams of actually making this balloon pop. All right. All right. Hold on. I'm going to get my handicap back. What did you do? I was cruising so said, to so, so win Karen, that when you're one. You're blowing these things up. Do you bite down on the balloon? No, I completely release. Well, hold on. I completely let go and just pinch with one hand. Jeremy's pinching with okay. two hands. I pinch with one hand. Yeah, see, like I always have it bitten in, so like it can't escape because it's literally being held in with my teeth. But like oh. I said, like I I breathe the way that I breathe when I play the trumpet. Right. So you're taught to like you have to keep your trumpet there and breathe around it. Yeah. So All right. that makes right. sense. So it's like, yeah. count us in again. Here we go. All right, and three, two, go. I kept losing that one. I kept losing air on it. <laughs> Turn so it sideways. Honestly. Turn it sideways. Turn your head. <laughs> Turn it towards the middle. <sighs> Turn it this way. Turn it towards me. <laughs> I keep going. Okay, now don't blast it towards me. It's going <laughs> to spit all over me. See, here's what I can't do. I've got nothing to grab on. I didn't either. You just got to keep. Just That's why you got to pinch it. <laughs> I'm gonna get spit on. Can't even get any more air into it. <laughs> I like that snapshot, it's nice. 
<laughs> that was a miss. I didn't like that. Was that was an insanely resilient balloon. <sighs> Even the handicap wasn't enough. All right. Well, that balloon took like 10 times as much air. Hey, oh, damn, you Cam! You are the winner. Congratulations, buddy. Congratulations. Give some money back. Poor Philanux. Right? <laughs> Poor Philanux. Uh, all right. Are we caught up on wheel spins and everything? Like, is that all going to be did? No, we should. I think, did, did. No, I think no, we're, we're good. Caught up. Okay. We did nuclear. We did Cam. Yep. We did Darth Gallon. All right, let's get back. To our ships. Tie Defender. Did you say uh, put right. that in B? B. Okay. And then tie advance should be above the tie defender, but on par with the interceptor. Let's we'll okay. get the the ties knocked out. So is the tie defender more like iconic or better? No, than the tie defender was such a late add, but it's still a really cool ship. I mean, I could even say B minus, I guess, or you can do a C plus on tie defender. It's cool. Kind of like kind of like out over here. Yeah. Cool. Tie advance, I think, is way cooler. Oh yeah. Is that on par with tar, par with tie Yeah, interceptor? I would. Yeah. I, I honestly might put Tide Advance a little bit higher because that's what Darth Vader flew, right? Yeah, yeah. that's the one that the Millennium Falcon hip I, checks. Like, okay, let me. I, I would go like <laughs> that. That's like the level of difference to me, where it's like it's just barely higher. That works. Uh, Razor Crest, you said that is the the defining no. Mando. Ty, we didn't get a T sixteen on here. Razor well, Crest. We, yeah, it's to B to me. But what do you think? I mean, yeah. I like the ship, but I mean, there's. Yeah, I don't know if it has enough legacy. Right. No, nah. it's cool, but yeah. I mean, it got or orbital bombarded and blew up. Which is, if you're gonna go, that's a cool way to go. Huh. Did um, what's his name? The oh, main villain I've from got Mando. Naboo Starfighter on here twice. Oh, funny. Oh, well, then you yeah, can well, just take you can just one. yeah you can just yeah delete that out of there. All right, the Nebulon B frigate. That's a medical drill frigate with some rocket er. thrusters. I like the look of that ship, but it isn't in a lot of Star Wars. Yeah. So, well, so it again, can be like, We can sort of like figure out. It's like, is it cooler than the Razor Crest? No, I don't think it is. No, it's not. Is it cooler than a Lambda Class? Shuttle? Probably not. Is it cooler than a Tie Defender? It might be. You think so? I'll put it next to the title. Is, is it cooler than a generic millennium? It, it, it is. It is cooler than a generic. So player. I think so. Maybe somewhere right around <laughs> like the C plus B minus range. That works for me. Sure. Cool. Move these down. A little bit. Oh, Lady Burrito. What? Builder's Mark whispered you. Oh. Oh. But you got to be careful. He said. Wait, Kevin. Okay. Can we take a second and talk about the Death Star? Because I want that to be a. It's a really cool spaceship. It really is cool. It's simple, but it just works. It's cool. I think I'm, I'm fine with that. It's the MacGuffin for two of the original three movies. For three of the, of the Star Wars movies. A New Hope or uh, Seven is just a remake of Four. Yeah. Yeah, that, that looks Somewhere in between good. Slave 1 and Naboo Starfighter. That works like, for is me. it the, so iconic that it deserves to be between Millennium Falcon and What a chat? What do you and, think? Where do you think? Uh, I, I, think the Death, I think I like the Death Star more than I like the Slave Ooh, 1. Chris, did you see Darth mm -hmm. Gallum's comment? Is it a spaceship or a space station? I mean, it is a space station. So, so uh, okay, I'll, I'll make the distinguishing mark. I know they call it a space station. You can literally move around and fly through space in this thing. It is a spaceship. So <clears throat> that was going to be By my argument. By all the finding criteria, the Death Star is a spaceship. It's just humongous. Here's why I agree with you. Is a space station to me feels like let's look at our ISS. Orbital. It orbit yeah, exactly. It doesn't it's not gonna fly to Mars. I'll give you that. That's why yep. it's yep. stationary. <laughs> that little that thing, I want oh man, but that thing pops out of hyperdrive. And then by Death Star, somebody asked which one. I wanna say the one over the Endor Forest Moon of Endor. Is literally that's Death Star Two, is it not? I think it's yep. literally a Death Star. It's literally called the Death Star Two. Yeah. So I think this would be if the someone original. Someone said Death Star Two. I probably would have disqualified that one because that one does not move. Oh yeah, there Death you Star go. Death Star Two is a space station. So, Builders Mark would like. It's to in geosynchronous orbit around the forest moon of Endor, being protected by the shield <laughs> generator. That's true. Builders Mark would like me to make an announcement. Are you? Is he pregnant? Mm. Yes. Yes. 
Congratulations. <laughs> Jeremy is the father. It's filament. <laughs> no, it's <laughs> um, no. I thought he was the father. Uh, Builder's Mark okay. says uh, he is going to be gifting his gift card to someone in this chat, and he hopes they enjoy it. Nice. Oh, okay. Yes. Do we just do emergency redraw right now? No, <laughs> it's a specific person. So oh, I, oh, wait, wait. Okay. Yep. I see. I see. Mm-hmm. So I will let David know. Perfect. Cash money. Oh, so is it going to be a surprise for the winner or something? Mm-hmm. David's going to reach out to him? Yep. That'd be fun. That's awesome. Well, Ooh, that's even fun. So forward. It's mystery. Oh, I guess I'll find out at the end. <laughs> Era. <laughs> what? Snorty McGuffin over here. <laughs> I got McGuffin. Okay, the Tanta V4. Uh, opening shot for me. It's it's a cool ship. It's like passes off as being, you know, a d- diplomatic ship, but it's really a secret spy ship. Tis iconic. I like it. It's iconic, I would s- but I don't know how cool it is. I mean, yeah, I don't know. It's probably, to me, it's like low Bs. Any love in so? chat. Yeah, I mean, okay, like do it. you think the Tanta V4 is cooler than a Lambda class or no? Well, so you guys are going to hate me, but See, I don't really think that it is. I think it's right about the same. Like the Nebula being the Tanta V4 kind of are about the same to me. You think so? I'd say the Tanta V more so, so than the, Neb- the frigate, but the, the Tanta V4, I don't know what it is. I just like engines. So Star Destroyer engines are dope. You guys hated the, you know, Advantage 8 or whatever the heck it is. I like the engines on the Dong ship. And then I love the engines on the Tana V4. And then we somebody literally so Jeremy, do you remember in like sixth grade when we had to make model rockets for class? Yeah, just slap another engine on there. It's literally they're just like they just took eight of those model rocket engines and glued them together and put it on a stick. It's pretty cool. And that's exactly that's what Jeremy that's what caveman Jeremy's brain wants. It's (laughs) nothing but power. It's fine. We're, we're like, so where would you put it is, the, is my question. I, I'm happy with it being anywhere in Wait. here. I don't think that it deserves to be D or E. Philonix, are like, you I a 10? I could see high C. I could see middle B. If it's in the A's, I don't know if I'd necessarily agree with it, but I wouldn't disagree with it. Did you see? Hold the, on. Hold on. Philonix, we must address this. You don't call the Tanta V4? Oh, the the Rebel Runner? Or the Rebel what? Blockade Runner. The Blockade Runner. The other thing that people call it. I th- isn't there like... Don't people, some people say the Tantive, or some people say the Tantive, some people say the Tantive. It's the Tantive. I've heard both. It is no, no, Kara's just laying down the law. Yep, She's saying it is, it is the Tantive. Mm-hmm. Are we just sitting here pronouncing it wrong, or is it the Tantive? Nope, Tantive-y? it is the Tantive. Oh, wait, did we specifically do absolutely academic research for the episode where we built this out of Lego? I think so. No, uh, we just picked one because it said that both were, I think. <laughs> Wait, why is my oh, why is the stream which, not popping up for me? Look what, what I got this? today. <laughs> this pizza ranch rewards. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well Oh the <laughs> Dong ship. <laughs> That's the uh one that um um the what what was it? The Radiant Seven? The, the one Radiant that, Seven, is that it? That's the Dong ship. Yeah. See? Tanta V four. <laughs> According to Wikipedia. The most reliable no, source. On the that's what I said, Phil and Nux. And I didn't originally call it that. <sighs> that's a cool ship. <laughs> that's a cool ship. Let's do a B plus. I I'll, I'm coming down from A minus to B plus. I don't think it's cooler than an Abu so, Starfighter. So that's how I'm making my decision. Well, but yeah, it's as I mean, cool. The luxury of looking at the other things we've ranked, right? It, Wait, which it's, one? It's is as cool as a Tie Advance and Interceptor to me. It's as cool as Tie Fighters to me. So like somewhere mm-hmm. like in here. You just put it over to the right. That's, that's fine. fine. Yeah. B wing, let's put low B. Or do you think it deserves a C? I I'd give it a C. Really? It's okay. I think it's a cool yeah, ship. I, I say it's solidly okay. Like, mm. but it can't even get its yeah, own it's, letter. I, I think yeah, it's like it's like here. All right, fine. High defenders cooler. Okay, you guys. Cooler. You guys. The okay, Y wing okay. for me though is an A. I'm sorry. Oh, I love Y wings. Y wings, wings are cool. Awesome. Freaking yeah. love Y yep, wings. I agree. Y wings are awesome. Again, not cooler than the Boo. But it's like on par with it. So if you could just make it one pixel shorter than Naboo, I would, I would <laughs> allow that. I'm I'm happy with that. Okay, cool. It is such ah oh, the UCS Lego version of that ship is gorgeous. It is gorgeous. Yeah. I have so many good memories as a kid playing um like uh, Rogue um, Squadron. Um. Okay. Can somebody please find and clip the part <laughs> in the Y wing where Jeremy tries to put together the engine and absolutely oh demolishes goodness. it? 
That's that's <laughs> is that the is that on Rise of the there. Podcast yeah. or is no, that on Brickable? No, it's on Rise of the Pod. No, or did you? Yeah, did you? I think I private or unlisted them. I'm not sure. Let me well, let me look. We need to find it. We need to clip that spot because Jeremy, that was pure gold. It's pretty funny. <laughs> Maybe David could find was it. it in the oh, Y wing. No, it was the Y wing. Yeah. Guess guess what day that video was published? <laughs> I don't know if I want December fifteenth, twenty nineteen. Jeremy, uh, August of 2019. June 20th, 2019. Oh no my way. gosh. Two days before my that birthday. That was within like the first two months. <sighs> Jeez Louise. We were so young back then. We were just babies. We were. Where we were awkward like, welcome to Rise of the Podcast. I'm Kara. <laughs> Look at th- I mean, How it's, are you going to find this mistake, hey Chris? Oh my goodness! Oh, I'm I'm gonna, 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 I made that shirt. I made that shirt. Well, I mean, I, I be doing a Y wing. Designed so it set, and had them make it, it for me. Out. This is the ship that you see. Uh, Boy, I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I cut my hair like that again? I was originally used during. The I've been Cold tempted. War. Right? I think so. I've been tempted to hack it again. Are the engines right there? Look at that beautiful beam footage. I miss doing Lego builds. They were so much fun. Be careful what you wish for. I know. I've heard that we want to kind of get back into it. This is a good looking ship. The B roll is always primo. You guys do such a good job with B roll. I think this is, yeah, this is good. Look at that focus rack. Oh, <laughs> Chris, you actually did special <laughs> effects on that one. Load in the bomb. Look at, we, we do love the Y wing. <laughs> oh, yes! <laughs> Oh, I don't know why our Lego stuff just didn't get more views. Those are so silly. Oh, it did on Brickable. It did, didn't it? It did get like over a thousand. So I think this one I put the mistakes set. all at the end. I think you're right. That sounds so right. Cool. Lego always like the B roll or like I mean, uh, really 423. He's putting it back together. Or is he, where is the engine here? Right here. But then it just completely falls good. apart. He just They're it just disintegrates in his hand. Even take this. Yeah, take that off. Oh my goodness. So I made a mistake and I'm trying to fix it. And, and then take that all apart. Oh no. Oh no. Why is it coming oh, no. apart here? Kara no, thought no, it would no. apart. Maybe is it, maybe our memory is failing us in No, answer. I swear you tried putting it back together and as it went back together it just went <laughs> Wait, what are you doing? You gotta put this in there. He's, like, he's still not yeah, doing it the right way. Yeah, yeah. He's like trying to put that thing in there and just like absolutely melts down. <laughs> this is yep. pre-chip. Isn't that insane? Oh, now you're rubbing my back to patronize me. You're like, it's okay, Jeremy. Someday you'll get Legos. Hey, D-Mat, I love your bamboo. I do still have that. Wait, which one? Jeremy or me? We both, we have both of those shirts, I think. Didn't the cat throw up on that shirt? <laughs> I don't know, probably. Jeremy, Kara's like, my engine is done. <laughs> my engine is done. Sweet oh, is this where it blows up? Oh, yeah, no, it's the uh, yeah, yeah. oh, I got it. <laughs> Still okay, trying to so this, fix it. How do I flip it? It was stuck. <laughs> <laughs> is it blow up right here? No, no it, it, it already it, it worked. It, it was just when you were. Okay, there we go. See, I'm an engine oh, builder. I just remember. Oh wait, is this the part? I swear, there's a part where, oh, where no, it absolutely blows up in his hand. It's very low in the frame, so you don't really see it very. Nuclear cool. cowboy, you're right. The struggle is real. <laughs> Philanox says epic. Wait, Ty Durden, why do you want to know about the shirt? You like that shirt? Which I one? have the all ch- of these. I'm these saying, shirts are probably here. Are we talking about the Chewbacca one, or are we talking about the Rex one? The Chewbacca one, I think, has a little cat puke stain on it now. Oh, funny. I made the the Rex shirt. Uh, well, designed it. I wore it for. Um, so I used to do half marathons and stuff back when I was actually in shape. Um, but uh, I won. I did a Star Wars themed outfit for a half marathon. Ah, I did. the Chewy one. Yes, oh, we Graham, probably the, have the, it. The, um, uh, Gary Bjorklund half marathon. All right, let's keep ranking. Keep ranking. Okay. Let's do it. I know we're on an ad break, but people can just come back. All right, the Mon Calamari Star Cruiser. Let's do a C minus D plus. Yeah, it, it never really like. That's yeah, fine. It, but the only thing, the only image in my mind of that ship is it getting absolutely wrecked by the Death Star. Too. So I'm trying to figure out if we put Star Destroyer above or below Death Star. But the Star Destroyer is absolutely A for me. It is A tier for sure. Is yeah. it cooler than the Death Star? 
or slightly less cool? I think it's, I mean, the Death Star is cool and all, but I mean, Star Destroyers. I would put it a little bit above the Death Star, personally. I think I'd put it above the Death Star, too. Star Destroyers have absolutely more cinematic, like, it shows them where their people are down on, or like, down on planets, and the Star Destroyers are just yeah. coming in, how intimidating And, like, here's the thing. I, I feel like, sure, the Death Star is intimidating, but it's literally a ball flying in space. Oh, no, no, no. You just take I mean, that back. I'm just saying, it is a, a circle. You guys, here's with, what we're going to do. With a planet destroyer. No, we're going to put Darth Vader on a turntable, and then I'm going to have a special <laughs> switch, and he's going to turn and thwack Kara when I disagree with her and bonk her with his lightsaber. Oh, funny. So we need to get a Luke then on the other side so I can what? be saying to what? you. <laughs> that is I mean, if, 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 wait, can the Death Star... Can the Death Star go to hyperspace? It sure can. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, the now, first movie, that's how it got to Yavin. Uh, that's right. That's, got to that's right. Now, okay, here's the thing. Yeah, and would it got to be, Alderaan. Would you be more <laughs> intimidated seeing a Star Destroyer coming out of hyperspace or a ball a coming ball? out of hyperspace? Because you have to think, what is that thing going to do? Yeah, it wouldn't scare me. I'd be like, what the heck is that? Exactly. The Star Destroyer would be like, oh, my gosh. Like, it'd be intimidating. I think Star Destroyers are cool. How good is this going to be? Oh, he missed. Oh. <laughs> Somebody should make Mango Nas. <laughs> okay. Kylo Ren's shuttle. <sighs> are the Razor Crest? Is it cooler than a normal? It's a Lambda class on okay. steroids. Why can't I get our stream on my phone? That is up. Oh, there it goes. It wasn't going before. Ah, Kara. Why it can't wasn't. I get the thing that I want? It wasn't. <laughs> All right, Cam says, Gus, Gus, Gus says, Star Destroyer is far more intimidating than Death Star, unless you know what it is. Right. Star Destroyer wins. I, there's just the, the tractor beam on the Star Destroyers. They're just, they have so much more screen time. Yeah, they're cool. The triangular shape, it's amazing. We, we bought the big Lego of it because we mm -hmm. love it so much. We need to do something with that. I don't know, Kylo Ren's shuttle, I think, is probably about here for me. Okay. Yeah, I'll take I won't that. argue on that it's, one. It's, no. like, it's, you see it, like, he's got a different ship in every movie. Yep. This TIE fighter or whatever is really cool, too. The Kylo Ren, whatever that one is. Okay, so the command... All right, I don't know how we feel about this. We have not ranked the Jedi Starfighter yet, by the that's way. That's it. I hope you know that's a big deal for me. Okay, let's do this. So here's the, the last five or six or whatever we got. The Chimera is just a specific... Star Destroyer. And is the executor. Do we just want to just delete those... And just say they're a Star Destroyer. Do you, think, do you think that, well, so if the Executor is a Super Star Destroyer, isn't it? Okay, the Executor might be. That is a Super Star Destroyer, yes. So, and like, and I don't think, like, you, I don't, it has about the same amount of impact, honestly, as the Lambda class does to me. I'd say that's fine. But the Chimera is cool. It's a regular Star Destroyer with, like, a dragon painting on it. Mm-hmm. But it's hard to say it's, well, it's better the, than it's a Star Destroyer. It's the one in Ahsoka in Rebels. Like, and... I don't know. It's like down here, kind of. Like I don't you know, know what? Maybe you're right. Put it by the Tantive. Put it by the Tantive. Yeah. I'd say the idea of a Star Destroyer is epic, cooler than a Death Star. Yeah. Specific ones don't have anything that makes them better than our other rankings. That works for me. Okay, the Jedi Starfighter. Hear me out. Is as cool as Slave One. Yeah, where it's okay. so. where it's nestled in there. Now I'm not talking about episode three Jedi Starfighters. I'm talking about the wedge shaped one yeah, that Obi Wan clone, flies yeah. in in episode two when he's getting chased through the asteroid field by the slave one. And then that they I all have in Clone Wars and stuff. That one over the other one's cool, but you guys know what I'm talking about. There's the ones where the wings flip yeah. up, well, and like Yoda has one, Anakin. That, and, that one's closer to an A wing. Mm -hmm. Thank you. But the wedge shaped one with the docking ring. Oh man, that thing yeah. is sick. It's cool. That's yeah, really I, cool. I, I agree with that. Yeah, I'm fine with that. I think the scimitar uh, is really cool. The scimitar is really freaking cool too. Mm -hmm. So B B for me though. It's in B. Yeah, it's not. It in it's B. not cooler than a Y wing. I mean, and I would say it's probably as cool as Razor Crest. And honestly, Maul and Mando are probably, you yeah. know, like, <laughs> have probably okay. similar followings of coolness. And then Supremacy was what again? The massive. Super it's really cool. Is that the one where uh, Poe Snoke flies? Snoke ship, isn't it? Yeah, isn't that the one? That oh, Snoke ship. Okay. But I that mean, the I'd say C. 
Yeah, and then again, it didn't really like blow me away. It's just like, oh, yeah. they just made bigger. So here's the thing with like space, it's hard to tell the scale. So it's like, oh, it's 48 miles wide. And it's like, <laughs> who, who, if I had to inspect that ship, I would go absolutely bananas. Right. Can we you know, pull so. up a supremacy compared to? Let's just pull up and just just for like scale. Let's go to Google. Oh yeah, and scale let's see it. if they've got like a Star I'm Wars ship scale. I'm not changing the the order of it. I'm just pretty sure that's like the biggest ship in Star Wars. Then maybe then the compare supremacy v Death Star. Let's see that. Let's see the size difference. Everybody's mad about how many rebels were or how many Imperials were killed when Luke blew up the Death Star. <laughs> for all you Empire simps out there. Poor, poor Luger Hulk command ship. Just <laughs> Philanux. Size matters, according to Philanux. <laughs> That's always been my problem. <laughs> or compared to... Um... All right, let's see what you found here. Dang, that thing is massive. You know what it looks like? Is it the SR-71? Kind of. But smushed. It's 60 kilometers wide. And how many kilometers? I think that's bigger than the Death Star. Can you do can you do supremacy size comparison just on like a Google image search? I'm sure somebody did a really good job of. Well, I know there's that video where they do like the 3D renders of everything where they yeah. can show the. I just want to see one good quick image. Jeez. Oh my gosh. So there's a super star destroyer compared to it. Or this, yeah, yeah super. So yeah, there's a super star destroyer right there. Jeez. That's insane. So that. Yeah, this is 60 kilometers wide. Jeez. Dang. So like you, so you'd about have 40, to run 12 40 miles? 5Ks to get from one end to the other. Are you serious? Yeah, so 12 5Ks. No way. So 36 miles? Yes, Tider did. Slave 1, we gave uh, a really high rating. Up an A somewhere. Day. That's ridiculous. Dang. So, okay, Cam said, I can tell you for a fact that to inspect a building a half mile long, nine stories tall, and 100 yards wide, uh, for cord continuity, Jax takes a couple of months. That's yeah, crazy. Like you'd, you'd never be able to inspect that thing. You'd just you never would, get done. The other side would be rusting thousands. by the side you got to the other <laughs> side. Like, you'd... They'd have to be fixing it. <laughs> you'd literally need thousands of inspectors. Yeah, yeah, yeah you'd, just, like, you'd have to break down every f couple hundred meters. Yeah. That's insane. And then by the time they were done inspecting, they'd probably have to go back and re-inspect because something probably already broke down where they first started to inspect. <laughs> Jeez. Bellator. I want to know whoever made this video needs to learn. I know. I was like, why does it keep jacking around and jumping around? I just want like... So I'm there's a Chris is skipping. Oh, oh, you're fast. I was so confused. I was like, what is happening here? Yeah, no, I'm jumping. Yeah, so like that's that's what Darth Vader had. Okay, this now. Okay, this the cinematography is making much more sense now. I was yeah, like, no, I was literally it jumps like five seconds at a time. It's like, okay, I don't give a, I don't care about that thing. Vengeance. I feel like that's Legends. So is it? I don't know what that is. And then that thing just comes <laughs> and just. She is. Come on, the supremacy mega star destroyer. That's uh, like honestly, after watching this, I almost want to knock it down a little bit. <laughs> just because of how out of this world it is. Yeah, it's it's pretty freaking goofy. Like in the new movies, it seems like they just made every single ship bigger. Death Star uh -huh. bigger. Star Destroyer, I, bigger. I, I, think I, I think I would put it like there. Ty Durden says, inspect it. Would you imagine inspecting it for contraband? <laughs> well, you cleared all the <laughs> 10 years later. Uh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, it is true, Nuclear Cowboy. Wait, what is he saying? What don't you dare? Do you love the supremacy? What, knock it down? Sorry. It's, the, it's just so silly. And then it was involved in the space gas chase, and I just can't condone <laughs> that. <laughs> he says, yeah. 
Well, this we was that. We should make a life size one. Oh Jeez Louise, goodness. can you imagine? How, okay, if how much so filament much. would that be? And who's gonna buy? Know. Who's gonna buy kilograms. thirty-six miles of land? Well, so think about this: a standard parcel for a township is six miles by six miles, dude. So you'd have to buy like several townships. It's worth of. The thing <laughs> would go from filament than. There is available. It's what? About 26, <laughs> tw it's about 26 to 30 miles from here to our house. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, you can have a highway system inside of your stupid bitch. <laughs> I almost want to knock it down even more. <laughs> Nuclear Cowboy says the oh girth alone gosh. is enough to give it an A, though. <laughs> that thing's insane. That's insane. <laughs> <laughs> Is Stone you know, monkey is sizes right, well, and so everything. <laughs> Gus, so Gus, this, that's this my favorite comment. Ranking of all of the ships that matter in Star Wars. The supremacy that's location good, is questionable. That's a good <laughs> looking list. I'm yeah. sorry, that is a very good looking list. I like that. I like that a lot. Mm -hmm. I really do. We did good. Uh. We did good. Oh my gosh, you guys. What? I was just trying to think of some fun stuff. I always feel bad for the ships that got left off the list. So I was like, I wonder if any of Kara's snowflakes are have a ship that didn't make it on the list. And guess what? The U-Wing from Rogue One did not make it on oh, the list. Yeah. And Kara has a U-Wing snowflake. I do. How funny well, I mean, The is TIE it? Fighter, regular TIE Fighter also didn't make it. That might have been a clerical error, but you never know. Yeah. I do think we should do ships, oh! or land land vehicles. Chris, I wish somebody would have said it because yeah. just so you could get raged is I wish somebody would have said Pergil, <laughs> the, the space whales, because <laughs> they go to hyperdrive. Okay, we should do creatures of Star Wars as well. Oh, Chris that has it all we, covered. Trust me. Okay, all right. Oh. We've, got, we've got content for for quite a while. All it's right. all part of the plan. You guys know I just ordered another hundred dollars worth of filament tonight. I'm mad about not having the colors I need. <laughs> yeah. What colors did you get? Red, yellow, green, and then purple. Purple. Because I have orange, two different shades of blue. I have a light brown, a dark brown, and then I have a tons I have tons and tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of white and black and gray. Nine white times out of gray are like the ones that I think are like the most usable for me. Oh, that, well they really are. And it really, anything you want to do, you're going to want to either do it in a light or a dark color and just white and black knocks that out. Yeah. Hey, Allie Cat. Hey, Allie. They I have a ridiculous have. amount of filament. <laughs> and I David, do. you've got to be cleared out. <laughs> Pretty close. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Peanut's watching. Hi, Chip. Oh, hi, sweetheart. I love you. The best little boy. Can't believe tomorrow's his birthday. I know. It's going to be insane. Um, okay, I'm going to post the pillow that I made in Discord. I made I made this. I made the pattern. I made friggin' everything. Sorry, I'm like... Oh, Alley Cat. Alley happy birthday, Chip. Oh, um, thanks. Leo and Alley Cat, they gave Chip and Cam gave Chip a little gift of Hot Wheels and like probably six, oh, seven Hot Wheels. that's nice. And he played with them all morning this morning. He was excited to wake up and play with all his Hot Wheels. He just loves he, Hot Wheels. He does. I, I had to make the critical decision that he's only getting a Christmas gift from me. So for the <laughs> record, for the record, we gave him one of the two books that you got for him. We're going to let him open the other one on Christmas. Oh, okay. That's fine. And um, if Pigeon Rides a Roller Coaster is literally like he was reading um, the Pigeon, Pigeon Drives the Sleigh. He seriously loves the roller coaster one is right now is his favorite pigeon book. And that's one of the ones that you got him. Cause the other one is pigeon nice. takes a bath or something. Sorry for how boring this is. Dude, the roller coaster one is so funny. You would die laughing at yeah, it. Yeah, the roller coaster is good. He dreams of like riding wild thing. And it's mm -hmm. literally like a little kitty roller coaster. And yeah. so it just goes whoosh, and that's it. <laughs> and he's completely let down. And then the, the ride attendant's like, you want to ride again? And he goes, yeah, because oh. <laughs> it's still a roller coaster. Oh, Chip well, likes the likes podcast. This is, this is his inheritance. You're Happy right. birthday to your dog, Nuclear Cowboy. Oh, wait. Is your dog's birthday the same as Chip? Today. Hazel. Hazel, right? Is that Hazel. Are you going to give some of the key rings away? Well, I'll tell you what. I like the name Hazel. Tactical. My niece's name is Hazel. We give away Jeremy's name. Reserve. 
I will you? send out a keychain with it's I on Discord. Jeremy in general tangents. Right Chris, do you want to pull it up? Can you pull up Discord and pull it up? Uh, I I can't. I'm Just in case. Very Phil proud of there. this pillow. I think it turned out pretty good. There's a couple spots that I think I need to alter the pattern just a wee bit, but I think it turned out pretty good. By the way, Chris, what you have with the DJ lights doing right now is one of my favorites. It's snowflakey the and dot fun. Ones. And yeah, it's just fun. It does look like snowflakes when it goes across. Yeah. All right, let's see here. You said general tangents. Yeah. Watch, I post in the wrong thing. <laughs> That'd be my luck. There it is. That's crazy. Every single piece is cut out and individualized, and then I applicate every single one down. So I want to say we also milled um, some wood cutouts for his wall, and I'm like, man, that pillow looks familiar. You sent me your <laughs> pillow template. To also Maybe. mill, you did because you're like, oh, I want this cut out, and I want this cut out. I'm like, all those shapes look familiar. <laughs> and there's no way you can mill that all out. Everything would be a floating chunk of wood that just gets well, sucked up in the saying, vacuum. You could just you could build it up and make it like that. I could do. Oh, that's yeah, true. that you could do. Like, um, well, I, oh, what I do you even call Mayo, those? But you guys are, I think, we're a little bit in the in the process. So, so I want, I still want to make a tiger shark pillow for him, and probably a race ace pillow, and eventually gunkster. He'll just have all of the monster trucks as pillows. The world's most spoiled child. He There's is. No question. He is. Yeah, yeah maybe. <laughs> Not even maybe. He is ridiculous. It's crazy. Uh, smelly boy. I love him. So we have to do a drawing. Yep. For Polymaker. Polymaker. And then David, the builder's mark, uh, yep. pay it forward. Do we have the person's email. Yeah. Uh, Did he message you too, Dave? Yes. Okay in the works don't worry about it yep all right we are drawing now thanks philanax and mayhem and, and everybody else no way <laughs> no way you won that's unbelievable Woo! Philanux, do you print <laughs> this is for polymaker filament do you 3d print philanax do you 3d print i can't believe philanax won <laughs> so that's a yes you print you 3d print yes 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 Congratulations. All right. If they don't. Or if not, we always say, if you know someone in your life who does, you can totally pay it, like, you know, yeah. take care of them. He does. Do. Yes. Congratulations. You won. You won, dude. Yeah. You should get some of that Starlight filament. Just saying. That, that Starlight run is my favorite. The I Starlight have is beautiful. Both ends of the uh, mall saber here. Mm-hmm. Hey, and you're working on it a lot. You have an old printer. What kind of printer do you have? Please tell me it's not a Flash Forge Creator Pro. <laughs> that was Jeremy's first printer because when I did my first, like my Ahsoka cosplay. Hey, if Loyal is on, we can raid Loyal. I think he oh. is. Or like Mrs. LM commented on Discord a while ago saying that they were going to, oops, nope, didn't want to go to you. Go away. Boop. Okay. Yeah, he's on. <laughs> Phil and Ux, I've been redeemed. <laughs> Remember, if you don't print, I will take your gift. That is good to know. That I mean, is good to know. I would, I would gladly take your gift as well. I'm just saying. <laughs> I mean, all of them. Oh, yeah, Gus Gus is right. So the A net A8, I actually know that one. It's like the most flammable printer. I think it personally burned down more people's homes than any other printer. Really? Yes. <laughs> is that what happened to Gus? No, <laughs> dang! Oh. It wasn't, but dang. <laughs> Wait, okay, he, Philanux, it's a what? A, can you Google that printer quick, quick, Chris, Chris, Cricket? It's a Quidditech? Quidditech. Quid I've never heard of it. But I mean, I, <laughs> I don't get into. Jeremy's the one that does a lot of. Well, Chris, I want to put you on blast really quick. Is that okay? Well, that's a oh, cool that's looking it. it looks cool. He says it fails a lot, though. Dang, they're, uh, doesn't look like they really have a cheap one. Dang, they're expensive. Oh, man. no, they got, they, it looks like they got a... Okay. Anyways, so Chris, since Chris has started 3D printing, he has not gone more than six months without buying a printer. 
Hey, the Quidditch is a Flash Forge. Oh, that I, is a Flash Forge. Just the identical. Relabeled? Huh. Funny. Is it super loud, Philanax? That's insane to me. Uh, yeah, no, um, because yeah, when I started, the first printer I bought was the CR6 Max. That was technically the first one. Didn't you have an Ender 3 before that or no? Or no, I bought Max? that and then you could never get it to work. And then the Ender 3s went on sale. I was like, well, I'll buy one of those. So I have something more reliable. Yeah. And then Dave was working on it for millions and millions of years. And then I bought uh, the S1 when you moved. Yeah, I bought the S1 when I came because I, I moved. I hadn't even been printing a year when I moved. Yeah. Because it was like early of 2022. And after the S1, it would have been a bamboo then, right? The P1S? Uh, I got the S1 and then. And I got that like October or November. No, you've had the bamboo for a while, like six months, haven't you? Yeah, no, no. I was just, I'm trying to think. That's when I got, the, I got the S1 like two months after I moved down here. Got it, got it, got it. Which would have been like October, November, maybe even December. I think late November, early December. And then, yeah, like it would have been like June-ish when I got the bamboo. I think. No so, yeah, way. It's, 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 I'm, I bought a lot. And then I bought the Anycubic Cobra 2 Max. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So Cam said he had two of them at the time when the house fire happened. And Cam's ankle has one in his shop. I knew that, but they, nobody uses the one at Cam's ankle shop. That one's unplugged, and <laughs> you should probably just throw it in the trash. You are very welcome, Philanux. I wonder what you, like, what, I don't know, what could you do to get something, a uh, printer to print properly? Well, it all depends. You always just start with your bed leveling. Your Z offset are the two biggest things, and oh, yeah. then from there I would just say, yeah, then make sure you have the tube if that's clogged. Is it seated correctly next to the hot? D Matt, are you going to literally drop that question on us with one minute left in the stream? Philadelphia <laughs> said that he was given this because the people who owned it prior couldn't get it working properly. I think right now, if I were to recommend a, pr literally, if I were to recommend a printer to anybody on the face of the planet, I would almost say the A1 Mini. With the AMS one light. The AMS light is the exact same print volume as a P1S. Yes. But I was like, if I were to rent somebody, if I were to have somebody start 3D printing, I would probably say the mini just to get that price point down a little bit. And then if you could swing it, go for the A1. But once you've been printing a while and you want to try more exotic filaments or anything like that, my recommendation more would always be filaments. the enclosure. And I would say the P1S is like the banger for the price for what you get. Yeah. So those if are my you're two things. If you're building your own enclosure, I would I would say the A1 with the AMS light, if you made your own enclosure for it, would be... Oh, Bear you, you absolute unit. All right, we're going to spin this. You mad lad. Yes, Philanux says, not right now, but soon. Philanux will get a new printer. Philanux, you should get a bamboo. A1 mini, A1, P1S. Get nerfed, darted as we... Why don't we end this stream on the nerf darting, Chris? Do you want to? We'll just get we nerf darted to, while do you do your to? outro. Can yes. Oh, okay. I meant to show this off the other day too. I laser it to that. Oh no! Oh, yeah, What's happened in the fog? We're getting fogged out. The, the, you know how the thing stops working? Literally, I clicked <laughs> the button. The thing stopped working. <laughs> There is so much fog in here. I was trying, like, literally, I clicked it, and then I was like, why is this not shutting off? And it's like, everything grayed out the second I clicked. <laughs> it's Fog City. Look how foggy it is. You're fine. Breathe it in. <laughs> oh, no, it's objecting my face. He's got to reload the guns. Just wait until you're back, Chris, and you'll be able to suck this down, too. Hey, I've been there when it was the foggiest it's ever been. Yeah, he was here for the Halloween episode. Oh, that's true. Here we go. We're getting nerf darted. Some here. It's coming. It's coming! Ah! Waiting for Chris's outro. The set looks beautiful right now. Oh! Really oh. Okay, sorry. I, I, need, I need to prime the thing to start doing the outro. Give me oh. one second. Are you gonna raid loyal? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I'm getting that set up. There's like a, a <laughs> time buffer thing here. Now. I love the blue lights. Congratulations right, well, to everybody who I apologize tonight. to everybody who is listening to the audio-only version of the podcast. Yet again, we ah. provided absolutely ah. no value to you. 
what? He's always been yeah. down to a lot. Oh, 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 if you can't or don't want to get this live, you can always catch our classic episodes at youtube.com slash the podcast and relive all of the fun that we've had. If you are watching on YouTube, don't forget to like the video and comment down below to keep the conversation going. Yeah, we're having a lot of fun doing Star Wars related stuff on our first podcast. So I just want to say thank you all so much for watching and of course. May the force be with you.